Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. Battery life is a major concern for most of the smartphone users and I've compiled a list of the best battery saving applications and some tricks that will double your battery life or even more than that. And a quick spoiler alert, there will be no applications like this, this or these in the video. If you want to know why, you can check out the previous video, it will be in the card section as well. So make sure you try all of them and let's get started with the video. The first one is Greenify and most of you guys might already know this application and it is extremely powerful. As soon as you close the display, it will close all the applications and will stop them from running in the background. The basic function of this app is that it will hibernate all the applications that keep running in the background and it will end up saving you a lot of battery life and will also improve the performance by a huge margin. The working of the app is really simple. When you start it for the first time, you'll have to do a quick setup in which it will ask you some simple questions like if your device is rooted or not and you'll have to grant it some permissions and after that you'll be greeted with the home screen and you just have to press the plus button and add all the apps that you want into hibernation. Many people don't know which apps to hibernate and which apps to not. So let's get this cleared out. If you want notifications from some application like WhatsApp or Facebook, then you don't want to hibernate them. And if you're using a specific application on your phone for the majority of the day, then also you don't want to hibernate that. Except these two types of applications, you have to hibernate all the others. I'm pretty sure that you guys might not have heard of this application, but it is the most intelligent battery saving application that I've ever seen. Smartphone Battery Guru is made by Qualcomm itself. And if you guys don't know what Qualcomm is, it is the biggest smartphone processor company. And there's a huge chance that the phone that you're using right now is running a Qualcomm processor. This app is really different from all the other battery saving apps. That's because it analyzes your usage and will optimize the phone's battery according to how you use your phone. You can change the settings manually as well, but when the application automatically does it, it works way better. So when you first install the app, it won't do much. It will keep running in the background and will take all the user data, like how you're using your Wi-Fi, how are the applications refreshing in the background, when they're providing notifications and all the other data that it will compile. And then it will optimize your phone according to that. The app pretty much does everything automatically and you don't need to do much in the process. Initially, it would learn in the learning mode for a few days and it won't do much. But after that, it will start to improve your battery life and performance at the same time. It has some additional options in the settings menu like the inactivity power boost or the low power mode. They also work real nice and are great add-ons to the application itself. And the best part about this application is that it will not provide you any advertisements or any stupid notifications or anything like that. It does exactly what the app is meant for and it does that perfectly. So make sure you guys give this one a try. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that as well because I keep making videos like this. Do you guys know that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth keep running in the background even when you have turned them off? They keep running in the background and scan for new connections and this definitely takes up a chunk from your battery. So you guys might ask how you can disable this feature. You can find applications on the Play Store that will help you disable this. But let's be honest, you don't need a separate application for doing a simple thing. You can open the settings app and there you'll have a column for location. You can tap on that column and it will open up the location settings. If you tap on the three dots in the top right corner, it will give you an option for scanning and when you click on that, you'll have Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. And to disable them, all you need to do is tap on the two buttons and now Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are not running in the background and taking up your battery. And because we are already in the location settings, you can go to the location mode and turn it from high accuracy to battery saving or device only. If you have it on high accuracy, it will use the GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data connection and all the resources that it can to track your location at all times. High accuracy is set as default, not because it is really useful for you, but because it gives the companies and all the applications a lot more data to work with. And they can use all the location data and everything else that they get to provide you with different advertisements or different services. So if you're not using Google Maps or an application that tracks your location like Pokemon Go all day, you can switch to the device only mode. And then whenever you need to use the application like Google Maps, you can turn it back on to high accuracy for like one hour or something and then turn it back off. This will improve the battery life on your device by a huge margin. And because all of these things are not running at once, it will also help with overheating issues. If you go to your settings app and then you try to see in the battery column what is taking up the major chunk of your battery, 
you will definitely find the screen in the top two. The display on your device takes up a lot of battery and that's because a huge portion of your phone is the display itself. You can turn down the brightness on your phone and save up a lot of battery or you can use some application like Pixoff. Your screen is made up of a lot of pixels and when you turn on the display, all of them light up at once. This app turns off alternate pixels on your phone. So at a certain point of time, only half of the pixels are running and half of the pixels are lit. There are some other applications like Pixoff as well, but don't confuse these applications with the display filter applications that provide you with kind of like a filter overlay over your screen. Pixoff has some other features as well and it works on AMOLED devices. So you can check it out in the description box below. If you guys don't know what bloatware applications are, these are the applications that have been pre-installed on your phone by the manufacturer itself and they are of no use to you. Some of the manufacturers like Sony, HTC, Samsung put in applications like Charton, Samsung Maps or even Bixby that we don't generally use. Most of these applications keep running in the background and they take up battery and the performance from your device. And that is the reason why Samsung phones have a little bit of more lag when you compare it to stock Android. In some cases, you can uninstall these applications, but even if you can't uninstall them, you can go to the setting app and then click on the app section and then you can find the specific applications and then click on the disable button. This will disable the application and it will not appear in your app drawer. It will not take a battery or performance from your device. So if you own a Samsung device, this must be the first thing that you do. And one thing more, you should stop clearing applications from your recent panel. Actually, it's not called the recent panel now, it's become the overview screen. But anyways, if you're clearing applications from this screen, you're actually reducing the amount of battery life that you get on your phone. I've explained this in the past, but I'll do that again. It works on a basic principle. If applications are stored in your RAM, they don't take up any extra battery. So you want to have your RAM filled up with as many applications that you can. So when you have all these applications in RAM, they take up less time to start up and they keep running with a very minimal CPU usage. But if you close these applications, whenever you start them again, or if they automatically start again, the system will first have to copy them into RAM and will also use your processor and other system resources. And all of this takes up a lot more battery. So in general, if you're clearing up apps from the overview screen, it will take up a lot more battery and it will also reduce the performance on your device. So make sure you don't do that. And if you like the video, make sure you press the subscribe button and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.